Hello guys and welcome back to another how-to video and in this episode we're going to build the nose wheel panel. Quite a straightforward build. We've got our nose wheel back box and we've got to do a couple of things to this before we can install it. First is to install two brass inserts into the back here and here. Inside our box we need to put a tie wrap mount and this is going to be for cable strain relief. To make this look pretty Normally the bolt head would go through the tie wrap mount, but because we've only got two wires, it's going to go through the rear of the back of the box. And the centre of the shaft is going to protrude through the tie wrap mount. I'm going to put a little nut on the end there, and we're going to tighten that up. In the base there is the tie wrap mount. Next we're going to need our LED strip. I'm using 12 volt warm white LED strip and we need to attach some wires. Now this is a pre-used bit, so I'm recycling it. So I'm just gonna renew the solder on the pads. There we go. I've got some 22 gauge wire here, because this is gonna take around about 100 milliamps to drive. So this is 12 volt. And I'm just gonna solder the bit of wire onto the pad. We've got our negative rail here, 12 volts, and we can just solder that onto the other pad. Perfect. We can hopefully install the LED strip into the back box. And I'm just gonna put it roughly in the middle, push it down, give it a good stick. Now I'm not too sure how well this is gonna stick because it's already been used once, but it'll do the job. And now he's got to wrap the wires around and against the tie wrap mount for a bit of strain relief. We need a tie wrap. So we can just feed the tie wrap around the wires, put it tight, root them correctly. There we go, I like that. That's how it's looking inside, so we'll keep that position and hopefully we can just tie wrap this up now to secure them in place. Got my side cutters. And I'm just going to tighten up the tie wrap. And that means now we can pull this cable, it's got strain relief, and we're not going to damage the, the soldered pads on the LED strip, or rip the LED strip off the box. With the back box complete, let's move on to the face panel and wire up the switch. So it's only got two contacts. I'll solder some wires on. This time I'm going to use 26 gauge wire, because it's Arduino and it's low power. Again, I'm just going to use about a meter's worth. Double it up to make two cables. There we go. Snip it there. Bring it all the way back to the loop. Split it there. Use our wire strippers. Just going to pre-tin these wires. Going to load the solder up. There we go. We can bring the switch in and we can attach our new cable. And then add the other cable. So you can see that this cable here, it actually says on. So for this one, I'm gonna ident this cable with nose wheel steering alt. There we go. And that's just gonna slide on. And the other cable is the Arduino ground. And all we've got to do is heat shrink these down now. And there's our switch, fully labelled, ready to be fitted. Now these switches normally come with two lock nuts. The first lock nut is on already, and I've got about a three millimetre gap between the base and the first lock nut. We're going to grab our back panel, which is the clear Perspex one, and we've also got 
a locking recess here in the side of the barrel. I'm going to slide that through the rear. We've got our security guard switch. That too has got a little locating tang at the 12 o'clock position there. They're going to sit over and finally we've got our last lock nut which is going to go over the whole assembly and secure it together. So right now the switch is fully connected and the simulator knows that it's in the off position so it's in the norm position of the nose wheel steering. This might help if I put that on. There we go. So it's in the norm position. We flick the security tag up and now it energizes the switch. We've got the signal to the Arduino and it will put it into the alt position. When we push the security guard down, it automatically moves the switch back to the norm position and cuts the signal off to the Arduino. It's that simple. With our back panel and face panel fully finished, let's insert these into the MIP. It's just feeding the wires through the nose wheel hole. We can pull the panel up. I'm gonna rest it there a second. Uh, we're gonna insert the back box from the rear. I'm gonna feed these cables here into the recess of the back box, like so. Push the back box against the frame and then just feed the wires in. Put our face plate over the top and then we've got two M4 screws which are going to screw directly into the back box. We've just got to tighten those two screws up and that's this panel nearly done. It's on and secure. I think that just leaves now to apply 12 volts to the LED lighting and see how it looks. Switch on the output. 12 volts, 70 milliamps. Oh yes. And that looks quite cool. We should be able to dim it as well. There we go. And then back up. 12 volts. And there we have the nose panel nearly done. Now I say nearly done, mechanically it's all done. We've now got one meter length cables here that I'm gonna just coil up and tidy away until the rest of the panel is built and we need to connect them. That'll be in a later video. Until I see you in the next video, catch you later guys, sim out.